Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to install the OpenZips proxy to use with Magnus Billing. Um, the main reason you'd want to install the OpenZips proxy is because when you actually get uh, slaves to work with, uh, along with your master server, you need to have a proxy that routes the calls accordingly in between in between the slaves so the load can be balanced so this is the main reason one one person would like to, to install open zips the install of open zips is included with the purchase of the C application in case you want to use uh, RC application uh, this video is mainly for uh, demonstration purposes, but let's go straight ahead. So basically, here I have in, on instance one my master server already installed, tested, everything is working on it. And here we have instance two, it, which is a clean installation of CentOS 7. So in order to install, we're going to need to run the following commands here. I already have them set up. So what's going to happen is we're going to go inside this directory, install uh, wget and then download the install script for openzips using wget, give it run permission and then execute the command here. Um, the install script needs to be run with the following parameters here. Um, so the first parameter is the local IP of the instance, so I already have it uh, here. Then the master server IP, which I already have substituted here, and then the local net uh, IP of the new installation. Um, and this is optional, you don't need to put in the local net IP if you don't have one. But I'm uh, I do have a local IP on this machine because I have it hosted on Google Cloud Platform here, created here. So I had I have these comments all substituted and ready to execute. So let's simply go over here and copy it. Go. Let's go over to our instance and paste it here, and it should install everything. So let's wait a little bit, it's going to install all the details, uh, all the stuff that's needed to run the OpenZips proxy for Magnus Billing here. Just to be clear, um, you do need the C application in order to have multiple slaves, alright? So you can even run the proxy with the master running only AGI, but then the proxy is pointless because then you'd simply want to uh, to register on the master server, not the proxy. But you can do this yourself to, for example, prepare to a new installation of prox of the slaves, so you can get your proxy already set up and then go adding new slaves as time goes by and your necessity goes up so it prints this password here which is the password that it uh, generated for the for mysql so simply copy it and paste it and press enter and it's gonna ask if it wants to create the table say yes to everything and it should set up correctly And also, if you don't want to install the proxy by yourself, if you purchase the C application, that's not a problem. You can simply purchase the C application uh, for your slaves and we'll install the, pro the proxy for free for you, if you don't want to go through this process by yourself. Okay, so the install finished here, 
and the setup asks us to create a new server in our panel here so as you guys can see I already have my master server here so let's create a new server let's call it proxy and fill in the details as the setup asks us paste everything copy the user let's get the password as well and the port so do not forget to change the type to zip proxy here and now when you press save if it does this success instantly then it means that it connected successfully to our installation from the master to the proxy um, also one other thing that you need to do is it's asking here for you to execute this script here in your master server so what this does is is send the proxy the, the zip accounts from the master to the, the proxy server so users can can register there so as you guys can see it worked and in order to automate the process so you don't need to execute this command every time that you change a zip account you can add it to the cron so you can do it this way cron tab dash e and as you guys can see I already added it so you can simply add the line as you, you can simply add the line as it's there and simply quit or in our after adding it you can just write and quit and quit so it should be working uh, and this being done you guys can see that everything has been set up your proxy should be working all right you can register on the proxy normally but there's one thing that you guys need to do if you want to test it with AGI if you guys go over to your master server here go to etc asterisk and go over to oh I think the connection dropped let's just um, let's simply start a new session here um, we go to our master server on etc asterisk extensions dot ael and open it you guys can see that we only have the context billing and we need to add the proxy context in order for this to work all right so we've added the proxy context context here but as you guys can see the, this context is calling the C application uh, it's calling the C application but we don't have the C application installed here so let's just simply copy the AGI line and put it over here and now our Magnus billing should work with the proxy even if it doesn't have the C application and you can register and make all the tests that you want this renders your zip proxy server working you can make all the tests you want uh, if you guys have any questions please be sure to ask them on the telegram group where all the community can answer all right so if you have any comments on the video if I'm, if I'm going too fast or anything just comment on the video please like the video as well to promote our work subscribe to the channel to keep getting notifications and that's it thank you guys for watching see you guys the next time